The 1950s saw the reins of the national team being handed over from the likes of B.D. Chatterjee and Bagha Shom to S.A. Rahim. The diminutive figure of Rahim had been instrumental in the emergence of Hyderabad as a football powerhouse and his efforts began helping India as well. In 1956, they changed the whole show. He started with boots and youngsters. They left behind the senior players like Ahmed, Mewala, Dandraj and others. They were discarded and a new group propped up. Rahim Saab's tactics of playing in 4-2-4 was something which Brazil popularized in the 58 World Cup. But Rahim Saab had done it in 56 for India. I mean, so Stanley Rouse then president of FIFA and Willie Meisel, noted football critics, had said Indian football is just about nearly as good as European football. They praised Rahim for his far-sighted tactics. It is a pity that sort of, you know, within 10 years after that we slipped. That decline coincided with the illness and subsequent death in 1963 of inarguably one of the greatest contributors to Indian football. Rahim's last hurrah came at the 1962 Asian Games where he molded a team that played a brand of football that was both exhilarating as well as courageous. And his role as mentor was significant. He was a visionary. He was a headmaster himself, small man, but tremendous intelligence and he knew how to motivate the players and he could know which player is good for in what position. So, a coach, a stopper back, a defender, an attacker. Because in childhood, Nobody is greater coach than Rahim Chahab, what he saw for Indian football. He thought it earlier, he saw it ahead of 20 years and he came from Hyderabad. He was a very strict disciplinarian, but we loved, all we loved him. We said that he, we lost him a little early. In 1962, the doyen of the coaches, Mr. Rahim, late Mr. Rahim, he passed away. And with him, I personally feel that he has taken football in, in, in the grave. Just in 1983, Kapil Dev's team world jita tha. Ab jante hain cricket mein. To us time mein panch all round rata. A all round player agar team mein jada rahe, ye bahut fayda ho jaye, bahut fayda mand. Kisi bhi jagah khel sakte. The Indian teams from 1948 to the early 60s were characterized by all round excellence. Flexibility was the key word, and there were stars galore from defence to attack. Up front, the three of the greatest Indian stars, P.K. Banerjee, Chumi Goswami and Balaram. P.K. Banerjee, explosive speed, probably the most powerful shots ever in Indian football. He used to wet a ball, with those days you played with leather balls. So after practice, he used to make the ball wet and then kick against a wall to improve his kicking. And his shots with his left foot, right foot, his ability to take swerving corners, P.K. Banerjee was phenomenal. Excellent football player, he's a great shooter of the ball. I always say we used him as a scorer. Previously, he's a winger all right, but he's a, what's a game maker, a playmaker. He has to want to touch, he will hit like anybody, nobody's business. His right foot was extremely good, scored many number of goals for the country and he used to play for the small clubs here, Eastern Railway for his job. He was a wonderful player. Unfortunately, he is slightly ill now, but nevertheless, he has always been will be remembered in history as one of the finest players of all time. Tulsi Das Balaram, for many people probably India's greatest ever football player, the complete player. The distributor, the dribbler, the finisher, started his football in Hyderabad, just played one year and went straight to the Olympics. He was so skillful, so intelligent and such such sudden acceleration, Tulsi Das Balaram. Sadly, career curtailed because of tuberculosis didn't get proper medical treatment. I was absolutely brilliant. Balram, are bapri, bapri, dono path, kya karta ball ko leke. Ab sab karte hain dribble, dribble ye barish ka ground mil jayega, to Balram kha jayegi pura team. Magar koi awaz nahi hai. Jaisa defend karta, waisa attack karta. Uh, Chunni Goswami was the intelligent player, the skillful player. He could weave in and out of defenses. I mean, he was a South American. You know, he was like a sort of India's Maradona who could dribble past anybody. The most delightful player to watch in body swerves, instinctive control. He was a player who was offered trials by Tottenham Hotspur. I mean, the Indian football just never had the far-sightedness enough to realize the, even if he hadn't played in the first 11 or just about would have been hovering around, the benefit that we could have got.
and Spurs in the 60s were a prominent team in English football. But of course he was happy with the state bank job. I mean, he was a blue-eyed boy in Calcutta, a place to play cricket also. And you know, he had a massive female fan following. Aisa chuni, ekdam bhiwi ka jaisa. Jab wing ka dhibi karta, ek taaj khandar aisa jata. Absolutely like, like a flash. Chale jata. Itna off the mark speed. Start acceleration itna acha us. Khale rai jata, sida ekdam, defender. Football wasn't the only sport that Chuni excelled in. He represented Bengal in the finals of both the Santosh Trophy as well as the Ranji Trophy. I was pretty good. I got 96-84 in the Ranji final. I got my Ranji Trophy 100 as the number 3 batsman. I was a captain myself. And then we beat West Indies. I got 8 wickets. This is a record for me because I like to say it that I'm pretty good cricket in cricket as well. Uh, Defenders, Jarnail Singh stands out. He was a towering personality, courageous, great in the air, biting tackle, and you know, ferocious, which all defenders should be. He intimidated the opposition. Not just Indian forwards, Asia, everybody was scared of him. And he was a tiger in Asian football. Jarnail Singh was absolutely outstanding. Itna powerful stopper, Hindustan mein saith kabhi janam nahi liya. Wo ek player ko. एक प्लेयर सेंटर फॉर्ड में उसको एक उसका वर्ल्ड का बेस्ट सेंटर फॉर्ड खेल रहा है बेने फ्रेंक बेने और उसका लेफ्ट इन साइड टिची तो मैं उसको जाके बोला अरे यहाँ देखो ठीक से खेल तू तो पार चला रहा है कहीं तो तेरे को निकाल देगा रेड योरो कार्ड दिखा तू जानते हो तू किसके साथ खेल रहा है क्या जान था खिलाड़ी मैं बोला ही फ्रेंक बेने वर्ल्ड का बेस्ट सेंटर फॉर्ड है अभी ये फ्रेंक बेने इंग्लैंड को तीन गोल से मार के आ रहा है बोले उसको हम बॉल उसको बॉल छूने नहीं देंगे सारे कम देखते क्या दम सही सेकंड हाफ में बेने कुड डू नथिंग समाधा वेरी गुड इंडियन डिफेंडर्स अरुण घोष वो प्रॉब्ली एज गुड अ डिफेंडर एज जर्नल विदाउट द इंटिमिडेशन वेरी स्किलफुल ऐसा अरुण घोष का क्या टैकलिंग बाप रे बाप रे बाप जर्नल उससे पावर ज्यादा था जर्नल का स्पीड ज्यादा था मगर हेड टैकलिंग दोनों पार का टैकलिंग डबल डबल फुट टैकल दोनों पार में दोनों साइड अब कहीं भी नहीं जा सकता अब सोचेंगे कि अब तो बीट कर गए हैं अब जब जाएंगे तब पता चलेगा कि वो उसका होता है यार पीछे है बॉल का पीछे मिडफील्ड पी सिन्हा राम बहादुर राम बहादुर वॉज लाइक अ डायनमो आई मीन लाइक अ गैतूसो यू नो ग्रेट इन द टैकल वेरी फ्लेक्सीबल एंड कैंपैया हु सैडली जस्ट पास अवे बॉक्स टू बॉक्स मिडफील्ड लव कुड रन नॉन स्टॉप पी सिन्हा वॉज प्रॉब्ली द मोस्ट इंटेलिजेंट पासर ऑफ द बॉल एंड ऑफकोर्स यूसुफ खान यूसुफ खान कहा खिलाएंगे लेफ्ट हाफ खिलाए बैक खिलाए सन ऑफ सब जगह वो तैयार है खान साहब सब बॉल का पीछे खान साहब रेडी सो दे प्रशांत और सिन्हा वो भी क्या बढ़िया क्या शूटिंग क्या अच्छा खेलता था कंपैया क्या गेम है क्या लड़ाई क्या डिफेंसिव क्वालिटी मे द ग्रेटेस्ट इंडियन गोल कीपर ऑफ ऑल टाइम विच मोस्ट पीपल अग्री पीटर धंगराज सिक्स फुट थ्री ही हैड अ ह्यूज हैंड स्पैन ही कुड पिक अप अ बॉल इन द पाम ऑफ हिज सिंगल हैंड एंड थ्रो इट अक्रॉस द हाफ लाइन ही क्रिएटेड अ सेंसेशन वेन ही प्लेड बिकॉज हिज किक्स यूज टू गो फ्रॉम वन गोल माउथ टू अन अदर so he was that acrobatic goalkeeper who brought certain dynamism when he played he was agile he was brilliant in crosses by far he was like a panther in the goal mount the best indian goalkeeper i've ever seen they were the greatest players they have played for country team for such a long time and indian uh, we are lucky that we had players like that